Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Virtual Paradise. Welcome back to my PvP tips and tricks series for Ark Survival Evolved. Now in today's video we're going to be building a super compact 3x3 base which is only one wall high but can still hold your vault, chemistry bench, fabricator, refrigerator, smithy and all your essentials with nothing poking through the ceiling. So let's get to the build. Right, so as you can see I'm uh, down next to Herbivore Island. Um, this isn't a locations guide or anything, so I'm not building anywhere low profile. I just wanted to do this build on one of these little islands on my server. Now uh, I've cleared the rocks off this little island so I can build here already. I've got all my building parts in my vault. I've spawned it in some admin, so don't worry about me losing resources. So you want to place your foundation in one of the corners probably. Now this build is going to require four foundation levels altogether, so uh, you can either lower the foundation levels if you're on a reliable terrain, that you can lower them that amount, but for this terrain I'm just going to raise one foundation so I've got a little bit more wiggle room when we go to lowering them later. This is the technique that I learnt off one wing. You need the pillar poking through the ceiling, you can't have it flush with the ceiling otherwise it won't give you this highest snap point like this. So there we go. Right, now we can demolish this pillar and the wall and the ceilings. So now we just lower the foundation next to here. Yep. There we go. And demolish the pillar. And I'm just going to snap a foundation here to keep this height, so I can demolish this one, so I can snap one to the new lower foundation. There we go. And then fill in the rest of your 3x3 shell, but you can leave the space in the middle if you want. Now you don't have to stack the foundations this much, this is optional, so I'm going to do the second level anyway. But you'll see how finicky it is and how much gets demolished. If you haven't done this before, you might want to practice with cheaper resources as it's easy to waste a lot. Snap a foundation to the higher snap point so we can demolish this and layer this foundation now. I can demolish the middle bit now, I don't need that. And I don't need this snap point on the end anymore. For the chemistry bench and fabricator, you need to leave one of the sides on the lowest level exposed. And it should look a little something like this, where you've got three different layers of foundations and one side lower. Now you can place your fabricator. Now it's optional if you want to place fence foundations as well to double stack your walls. But uh, I always like to, so I always like to make sure that I leave enough space for fence foundations either side. You can place them there first if you want more of a guide. Chemistry bench goes right next to your fabricator then, basically as close as you can get to it, but again, leave a space for fence foundations behind it and at the side of it. And now you can start putting your second layer of flooring down. There we go. And just always make sure you can access their inventory still, you shouldn't have any problem, but occasionally there is. Right, now for your optional fridge, you'll want to remove one of the foundations where you want your fridge to sit. I'm choosing in front of the fabricator. Now you want to lower a foundation again. This is why I heightened a foundation in the beginning, just in case I couldn't lower it any lower. So then we want to place a lowered foundation in this gap here. And then you want to place your fridge on that level. Again, I'm going to leave room for a fence foundation. Now, if you want a bit of room to walk to the left of the fridge, you'll probably want to put a fence foundation here first before placing the fridge. So you can uh, test where the walls double stack to make sure that the fridge is hugging the wall as much as possible. It's just because even the slightest bit in, like I've actually done in this build, and you can't comfortably walk to the left of the fridge. But it's no big deal, it's optional anyway. If you don't want a fridge here though, then uh, you can just do window access to the fabricator, so you can access the fabricator from this direction. But I like having a fridge. It's very handy. Right, so now we can demolish this, and we'll triple stack this. There we go. And just building this quickly to show you how flush with the ceiling the fridge is at this height. 
perfect. Nothing poking through, so you can build other stuff on top, namely plant X. Now you can place beds and then foundations on top of beds like this, so the beds are more sunk into the ground. Uh, but it's really hard to actually hide the bed. You need it like three or four layers down, I think it is. So there's a bed that's three layers down, so yeah, you need four to completely hide it, really. Now you can uh, fill in the rest of your foundations now. The chemistry bench can be a little bit finicky sometimes, uh, so always make sure you can access its inventory still, because sometimes it won't allow you to with th uh, three foundations. Place fence foundations all around the perimeter. You want to make sure you do your fence foundations before you put your walls and ceilings up because you can't place fence foundations on the floor like this if there's a ceiling above it. I haven't quite hugged the uh, fridge against the wall enough there so I won't be able to walk to the left of it, but no big deal. And fill in the middle bit as well. You obviously want to double stack this because this is where your vault and your generator is going to be. Now you can place your generator, you can place it on the floor like this and just have this little thin bit uh, almost flush with the foundation, but you can access that little bit from a door then. And you want to double wall off the fabricator and chemistry bench area probably first. Make sure you get that highest snap point first when you're doing the walls. There we go. I'll be double stacking all my doors. space to walk in and out. So now you probably want to double stack the entire middle bit with doors so you can access it from all sides. This is optional though, especially on this side. If you've got the fridge and you can't walk to the side of it, you might just want to double wall this bit off. When you're placing your doors in the middle here as well, you'll want to pin code them all so you can basically close them and open them all from a remote keypad. So I'll just set them all to 1111 for now. I'm opening the doors before placing another one as well because it's just a lot easier to place the other door when the other door is open, if you get what I mean. So there we go, I can't walk to the side of the fridge, but I can if the door is open. Right, so when you're at about this stage, it's time to drop the vault. So I'll put a ceiling on top of here. Obviously I'm just using metal, but you know, use something cheaper. And I just put a ceiling here to make it easier to line up. Now these new vaults are a lovely size. They'll fit on one foundation, but they're about just over a wall and a half high. So you can't normally fit them in a one wall building. So you want it a little bit from the edge. So it's got clearance of the wall. Also the wheel at the front sticks out a little bit. So you've got to bear that in mind when you drop it but you also want to leave uh, room at the front of the generator. So there we go, there's plenty of room there. And demolish the ceiling. And the vault looks like it's demolished, but it hasn't, it's just dropped down below. Let's get rid of this. And what do we look like? There we go, we got our vault, generator, access both, excellent. And from this side, that's beautiful, but if it's too flush with the wall, that wheel will poke out. 
A vertical cable is too high for this build. I should have done this before dropping the vault really, but uh, you can still place cables. You can do about four that intersect all around so you can cover all corners of your base. And you can even fit some electrical outlets down there as well, there's a few snap points. But you can do inclined cables and they'll reach just through the walls as well, which I'll show you in a bit. But the outlets in that vault bit with the generator, they'll still reach all the way out to the corners of the base. So just for convenience I'll place a uh, keypad on each of the doorways. They're pretty cheap to make anyway, but they're easy to break, they're only 100 HP. And as you'll see now, we've got outlet snap there. There's one down there as well somewhere. And there's one directly under the generator front. There we go. And that's the incline cable, how far it reaches out. And there we go, you can see we've got multiple snap points. And it actually looks quite neat, I think, that lowdown. There's a snap there. May as well put them everywhere just for as much coverage. And there's a nice snap over there as well, lovely. Beautiful. Now we want to place our smithy. If you K-mode it and just put it like almost against the fence foundation, you'll be able to put double walls around there, no problem. Obviously leave as much room at the side between that and the fridge for pestle and mortars as well as you can. That looks nice. And we'll wall this bit off now. That was a low snap, wasn't it? That's better. High snap point, inner snap point. Nice. Let's finish these off then. Cool. Outer walls and doors are completo. Right, so we just place some uh, pestle and mortars here. Obviously they make good storage. I know you've got a chemistry bench, but you could use these for little things that you really can't be bothered to get gas and use the chemistry bench for, I guess, if you just need some little things. Uh, may as well put some here as well. Now we should be able to put three forges against this wall nice and comfortably with plenty of room to walk by them. Just make sure they're right up against the wall as much as possible. And there we are. Three forges, plenty of walk-in room. We stick a preserving bin next to the door as well. And some more mortars, why not? And just to show you, you can fit a preserving bin in here as well if you didn't want the fridge and then you wanted just the window to access the fabricator so you didn't need to access it from this side. I like preserving bins because they act as storage and preservers if you need them. So let's just see if there's enough room to walk through here comfortably and close the doors. Yep, no problem at all. Check a keypad on the front door, why not? And now you can cover up your foundations with ramps if you want, so people can't see that they're triple stacked. Come on. Nice. Right, so I'm just going to do this all around and I'll be back with you now. Nice, that's the last one. Now to pillar the corners of your base, it's normally better to start before you even put your walls up so you can just snap them to uh, fence foundations. 
but in this case because everything's so compact in there the pillar will actually poke through the wall a bit so I just chose to do it after like this so you completely cover up the corners. If you want that free movement you just have to kind of look up into the sky. The higher you look the further you are from snap points by the seams of it. So I'll just make these two high each I think. Nice height for turrets. That looks quite cool. Right, let's see what she looks like from above. And there we are. Obviously a lot of these parts are interchangeable. The preserving bins, you know, can replace with forges, smithies, whatever. You can section bits off even more and have slightly less in there. Up to you. So uh, now we'll place the rest of the ceilings. And we'll double stack the ceiling as well. And here we are. Ooh, she feels very cosy. Wow, very compact. Plenty of walk-in room though. Don't feel too squashed. Let's just fill in a couple more of these ceilings as well. And so all the doors that I pin-coded to 1111 will all shut together now, nice and neatly. Oh, I forgot about the fridge. I accidentally quadruple stacked that one, didn't I, with the foundation, so I'm going to have to remove one of the foundations. Yeah, the fridge is a bit weird, where you can only have two or three foundations in it, otherwise you can't access its inventory. So this one's got four foundations in it, so hopefully it'll be fine after I just remove one of these foundations. Yep, there we go. And the foundation is still triple stacked. I had to come out and demolish some ramps just to see if it uh, left a gap, and it does. So I'm going to go grab a couple of walls a minute. And if you demolish one, you can restack them from lower to higher then. So with a little bit of fortification, I think this place looks a little bit more secure now. And would you look at this place, seeing that it's only one wall high, and think that there's a chemistry bench, fabricator, vault, and everything in it? I don't think I would. So just to fill in this little island a bit, I made this little area here with a grill and cooker, a little raft port, etc. Make it feel a bit more at home. I was quite surprised how much you could do with this little tiny island, actually. So I hope you like the build, guys. Anyway, that was my super compact advanced base. Surprising what you can do with only one wall high. So uh, yeah, thanks for checking out the video again, guys. I hope you liked it. We were going to sign out by uh, both taking narcotics and falling asleep in the tent together, but my mate kind of failed a little bit, so I'm just going to show you the blooper instead at the end. Hope you enjoy the clip. Take care and have a great day. Oh, my keyboard wants to play up now. Oh, do you want to come out and do that? <laughs> oh, sure, right, now, Did your keyboard Let pause? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I picked up the wooden chair now, it's a disaster. <laughs> I'm passed out. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Now, that's why you should put in your fucking video. For fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Oh, right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just drag you in the tent, I guess. <laughs> oh wow, you! I have no clothes on. I've been dragged right, into a tent. Yeah, I'm tired too, so I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> oh. oh, sleepy boy. I'm still a half top here too. Are you? Good night. My love, what has happened to you? I can't live without you. I can't do this. This is not good. I must leave. Your whole purity is I just stop maxing out. But here I am. I join you.